Good morning, everybody. It's April 10th, 2023, and I am glad and happy to share and announce that the uh, Tails electric guitar build is in the drawing phase. <laughs> and I gotta say, this is gonna be some epic, epic guitar. Uh, I think I'm gonna really love doing this one. Um, came up with the idea this last night, so you know, I did the Sonic guitar. I figured, you know, do a little Tails. So. And uh, what I got planned, I'm going to use uh, this exact neck I'm going to use, exact bridge. Um, that's just a mock-up uh, pickup. you got to order the really good pickup. Um, input jack, probably going to go somewhere in this vicinity. And I'm probably just going to go with a square or round pickup, just regular pickup. That way it's out of the way. We're going to see after I cut the wood how it fits in your lap and figure how everything goes. This is going to be a void through all three layers. I'm going to do three layers of plywood on this one. I'm going to try to make it 3D in certain spots. Let me explain. Explain. Let me explain myself. Um, the three layers basically are going to be um, all these parts. The two layers are going to be the hand bit. So it's going to be recessed. This hand. This little fur on the face is just going to be the bottom two layers. So we're going to have a little bit of a difference there. Um, this is going to be, I'm thinking the tail, yeah, the tail too. That's going to be the bottom two layers. So the top two layers, or the top, all three are just going to be this section here. Um, I might elect to go with a foot in the back. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to keep the foot up here close. But I might. I might go with the top, bottom two layers. But uh, keep the, uh, the, the ear, ear, right ear here, the top two layers, and then the very top layer is going to be the hair and I'm going to cut the top layer so the hair is just going to be on the top layer so it's not going to go all the way through the whole body of the guitar it's going to be really cool when I when I get to that part and I show that to you it's going to be really killer but like I said this is a void there's not going to be nothing there and then there was another void under there but now it doesn't really matter because it's it's going to be covered with the pickup but I'm probably going to countersink the bridge so it floats in the body it's going to be really cool. And as far as all the colors go, here are the colors that I'm going with. I'm going to try to do the shading with the orange and the yellow and the little bits and everything like that. You know, put my own flair on it with the red and the boots and the blue for the eyes. So it's going to be cool. And then the white bits are going to have the shading of the gray. So that's really cool. I did kind of the shading with the pencil just there. Um, and I'm going to do the Dremel lines, and all the hard lines are going to be Dremeled, of course, just like all the rest of the ones that I've done. Uh, one volume knob right there, and that should be in a good spot where it's not in the way. Um, so it's going to be really cool. I'm probably going to do a push-pull pot to split the coil, probably. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you. <laughs> this is going to be really cool. And I think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to sit really well in your in your lap. And when you're, when it's riding on the body, I think it's going to be well, too, because, uh, check it out. Like when you put your hand over like that, it's going to be really cool. I think the body's going to weigh um, weigh enough to where you're not going to get any kind of neck dive at all. So this is going to be really cool. And of course, the uh, strap button is probably going to be somewhere around here and then on the back of the, the neck, of course. But yeah, next uh, step is to get it all finalized where everything's going to go. Uh, draw out for the neck pocket exactly where that is. And then... We can cut the wood and cut out the pattern and start that whole process. But yeah, <laughs> it's going to be so killer. Tails. And uh, I think about doing the headstock in white. Just the front. Um, this neck is completely untreated. Um, it doesn't have any kind of treatment on it at all. And that could be good and that could be bad. We'll have to see. I might put an actual clear coat of something on there. But as far as the front of the headstock, it's going to be white. Um, and then I do, might do my logo in either black. Or maybe the same color as the fur, which is that orangish color. I might do that. And then with a black border around it. So I don't know. We'll see when we get to that point. But yeah. Hope everybody's having the beginning of the week. <laughs> a good beginning of the week. And this is going to be really cool. And like I said, these are going to be recessed parts. The ear is also going to be recessed in the back. Oh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, two layers for the ear. Because I'll have to figure that out exactly. Because uh, the top, I just want, yeah, I'll have to figure that, figure that out. The, I think I'm going to do the ear, the top, the right ear, just on the two layers. 
and that way the top layer will be that right there and then where it connects up so it's gonna look really cool but I'll have to figure that out might actually do a little bit of a start on the top layer and then work my way to the third second layer with the top bit there it'll look really cool though but all right it's gonna be very cool and like I said we will see you soon we'll start working on this pretty soon waiting on the parts of the other one so might as well start this one went out to get a bunch of wood yesterday so we got plenty of wood just waiting on necks and parts for the other one that I'm working on and a couple other ones so all right well we will see you soon Good morning everybody, April 11, 2023, and it's time to continue work on the Tails electric guitar build. Alright, as you recall, we drew out the concept, got everything figured, where everything's going to go, more or less. So now it's time to cut out the cutout, and let me cut that out, and then we're going to cut some wood today. Yeah, alright, alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, got the cutout cut out, it's looking pretty good. It's going to be really cool with this void, these two little voids right here. And as far as the layers, like I talked about yesterday, I'm going to do the three layers of plywood. And the top two layers, um, to all three layers. And then I'm just going to do like, uh, these pieces right here are going to be all three layers. Uh, I'm going to cut the first layer out. So this will be just two layers on that. Two layers on this piece. And then two layers on the whisker bits. And then two layers on the start of the ear, inside the ear, and then three layers on the top, and then I'm gonna carve it downward so it's gonna have a 3D appearance. And this is piece, these three pieces are just gonna hang on all three layers, but it's just gonna be on the top layer from the ear this way. So these whiskers are gonna be one layer thick, and hopefully they'll be sturdy enough. I think they should be. So this is gonna be really cool. And I think using the, the three layers is going to be way sturdy enough as far as the girth of the body. So I'm just going to have the one pedometer there. I'm going to have to cut out for the back cavity uh, access panel for the, uh, the Floyd Rose. So that's going to have a little bit of there. I'm going to have to rethink this. Um, I'm going to cut out the wood for sure. But whether or not I go with the Floyd Rose or not, I could just go with a stop, you know, the uh, top load. And use a different neck because um, I do have some necks on order so um, that might be a kind of a yeah because once I cut out well, I'll have to look at how thick the wood is and everything because once I cut I'm gonna countersink for the Floyd Rose on top and then in the back there's gonna be have to be the cavity for the, uh, the springs and uh, when you cut out the cavities for the springs and then for the pickup as well I don't know if there's yeah it might be a little might be a little <laughs> pushing it a little bit i might have to save this one for the uh the other necks not the uh the jackson style necks i'll have to save it for the uh the necks that have the you know the necks that i use like on the, the uh god i can't talk this morning the yoda guitar build and uh the Bart Simpson and Lisa Simpson, I probably have to do that kind of, and then just have the top load bridge for this one, yeah, because I think the way the body is shaped, I think cutting out those extra bits, I think it'll be too much, too weak, it'll make the body too weak, so, but we could, excuse me, definitely cut out for the wood, so, all right, let me, uh, and then I'll figure that all out, because that'll go, and that'll probably be better, yeah, just do the, so, and then I won't have to necessarily use the three layers of plywood. I can go with the the one layer, uh, the, the inch layer, and then on the back have the one inch layer. So I think I might do that. Because the back, I'm going to have to figure out the reverse image too. And then drum them all the bits. So, Alright, we'll see you in a little bit when I figure something out. Alright, next big update. Yeah, I decided to go with a different neck and bridge on this one. Just because I think it'd be better well, overall stability because it's such an odd shaped guitar. Um, I'm thinking it would work with the Floyd Rose and the, the Jackson style neck. But I think it would be more stable with the other neck. And the other neck I ordered is uh, Maple. So it's going to be really cool. So, Alright, so that would probably conclude progress today on this one. I'm not going to cut the wood till I get the neck to make sure that the neck pocket's perfectly where it needs to be before I commit to cutting the wood. So, probably work on the uh, scratch build that I picked up, the uh, POS guitar build. We'll call it the POS guitar build. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. 
Good morning, everybody. It is the 14th of April, 2023, and it's time to continue work on the Tales of Hector Guitar build. Yeah, I decided to go with a different neck and a different bridge uh, for the simple fact that I think this body's going to be really kind of, you know, the, the spacing of everything. I think it just stability wise, I think it's just going to be better because we got this void here, void there, and, you know, that's going to be, you know, these two bits are going to be second layer, um, like I explained before. So, yeah, so I think it's going to work out pretty good. That does look pretty awesome. As far as the input jack, I'm not really sure. Um, definitely the uh, strap buttons are going to be there on the other side of the neck plate. But we'll have to see once we get the wood cut where the input jack's going to go. So, all right. So I just wanted to show you how everything lines up. And it does look pretty cool. And then, of course, all the tails in black on there and then black on the headstock and I might paint the headstock white uh, with black logo so that would look really cool so all right all right next step is going to be to go outside get some wood situated and go with three layers of plywood we got some really fine sanded plywood on the top and bottom and then the center layer and then we'll go from there all right, we'll see you in the all right got the outside got two pieces of wood we're going to go 20 and a half wide by 23 or so uh, tall and I got both uh, got lines drawn and this will be the center piece uh, of course this will be the top and the bottom or vice versa and then the center piece so let me cut this piece and I'll be ready. all right got my three pieces cut out <laughs> it looks pretty good all right that's gonna be the thickness of the body it's gonna be very cool all right so let me uh, get the uh, trace out over at the top of it and then we'll see where I see them. All right, marked where I want to put some temporary screws. I'm going to use four screws on this one. So let me go ahead and put those in. I'll be right back. All right, got the shape traced out. We got the uh, screws temporarily fixing all three pieces. And let me go ahead and get the scroll saw queued up and then we'll cut this out slowly and carefully. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. All right, quick update. We're getting there. Whew. Yeah, it's pretty intensive. <laughs> We're getting there slowly and surely though. Alright, I continue. I'll see you in a little bit. I can't wait to show you what the uh I'm gonna cut out the leg part. Let me show you. Uh the top layer is gonna be well, let me just tell you what I'm gonna cut out first. See on the template, I'm gonna cut out the back leg for the second, third layer. Top layer is gonna be all this. Uh this is gonna get cut cut out the top layer, and the hand's gonna be cut out the top layer, and the ear on the top layer um, so I got to figure that out but yeah those bit and I'll show you that when I get to it but yeah all right we'll see you in a little bit all right pretty awesome got to cut out <laughs> took a while but it looks pretty good all right let me draw the uh, on the top layer let me draw all the bits and I'll be right back all right got the pattern drawn out on the wood looks pretty awesome all right so now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna separate the pieces and then I'm gonna cut out the bits on the first layer only. I'm gonna separate on the top layer. I'm gonna cut the hand, because the hand is just gonna be the two bottom layers. The foot here, two bottom layers. The back, top, tail, the two bottom layers. Uh, the whiskers, the two bottom layers. And then the ear on the, the right side, his left ear. That's gonna go uh, down. Thinking, hmm, maybe I'll leave that up top but the whiskers well mm, i'll think about it all right so let me get this going and we'll see you in a little bit just another quick update uh i've decided that i'm not going to go all right i initially was gonna uh cut the top layer and just the you know the, the bits that are recessed but instead of going a full layer i think i'll still cut it out but then i'll see how there's four layers in the plywood i'll shave off or i'll sand off two layers and then I'll put glue the piece back in, that piece back in, those bits back in, the whiskers, the ear part back in, and the tail back in. So it still gives it a 3D appearance, but it's not, I think that would go if it went down, you know, see how the three layers, I'm oh, sorry, got the three layers. I think the top layer, if I did the full top layer, I think that would be too shallow, I'm thinking. And the input jack, I think I'm gonna go right here because the knee fits right here and your knee fits right here. Sorry, knee here and then knee right there. So 
But yeah, um, but I'm probably gonna call it for today. I'm pretty tired. It took quite a bit out of me to get this cut out. So all right, so we'll continue working on it tomorrow. So all right, and then I hope to start the Marge Simpson guitar too soon. All right, and yeah, let me get my mask cleaned up, and we will see you tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. See you all. Good morning, everybody. Time to continue work on the Tails electric guitar build. As you recall, we cut out the pieces, and it looks pretty good. So now what the next step is going to be, I'm going to cut the, I separated the three layers. So we temporarily separated again. And what I'm going to do is the top layer, I've decided I'm going to recess back this part, this leg, this part of the tail, and then the whiskers. I'm going to leave the, uh, the, the uh, ear, right ear intact, but I'm going to eliminate on the bottom two layers the fur bits. And then that's just going to be the top layer, so that's going to be pretty cool. So let me get this scroll saw going, and I'll see you in a little bit. A quick update, <laughs> I wanted to show you how cool it looks. Yeah, it turned out pretty cool. See, on the top layer, I cut out the foot bit, and the hand bit, and the whisker bits, um, and the tail bit. But on the second layer and the third layer, they still exist, so it gives it a total three-dimensional look. And when I do all the body filler and paint filler and all that, and then when it's painted, it's going to give it this like in the whiskers. It'll give it such a 3D effect. And the, uh, you see how the top whiskers, I left just on the top layer. So I cut it from the bottom two layers. So that gives it cool. And I'm glad I elected to keep the ear, because I was going to cut the ear bits too to the second level, but I'm glad it kind of keeps it consistent. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how it gives it a 3D, 3D look. And I'm going to Dremel all the line bits, of course, as always. So that just makes it look really three-dimensional and being this character tails you know Sonic the Hedgehog you know you would figure all right so the next step is going to be to cut out the neck pocket so let me get the neck out and reattach the top two layers and then we'll get that dialed in perfectly and then we'll see in a little bit yeah but it's looking, that's looking pretty cool yeah and there's a little bit of chip on the side there but I'll fix all that so all right we'll see in a little bit and the quick update, I perfectly cut the neck tendon and the neck, uh, I put in the neck tendon and I cut out the neck pocket perfectly and that's pretty cool because it, uh, it catches that lip right there, 3D layers. And I go ahead and, uh, and we're, I glued it in so we're good to go and I've got all three uh, pieces attached. So we'll go ahead and uh, good to go to install the neck. So let me go ahead and install the neck. Well actually let me uh, see how the neck fits in there. And let me get some Bondo if I have to and get that dialed in perfectly so it goes the same spot every single time. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Perfect. Got the neck pocket dialed in. Shaved a little off this side. And I'll correct it and make it perfect as always. But um, let me go ahead and get the neck installed and we'll see you in a little bit. Looks pretty cool though. I love that 3D effect. Alright, got the neck installed successfully. It looks pretty killer. <laughs> oh yeah. Loving it. Cool shape, cool design. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty killer. I love it. That is sweet. <laughs> All, right. All right, next step is to get the neck, uh, get the bridge out and go ahead and do a string test and then install the bridge. We're making some good progress. It looks pretty cool. I dig the, the 3D bits. Can't wait to see this one painted. I haven't seen a bit. All right, go ahead. I went ahead and pre-drilled for the holes. Got the holes pre-drilled. Time to install the bridge. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, successful installation of the bridge. And I like these bridges. These are different bridges than the past two bridges that I've used. These ones have definitely thicker screws, and it looks like way better quality. So I really like these bridges. I started using them. I can't remember the name. I think they were these ones. Yeah. Now these are actually tuners, they're my, <laughs> no, that's just a bag I put it in, but uh, yeah, I'll have to figure out, I'll have to tell you which uh, bridges those are, those are really awesome. Alright, and I did a string test, and we are perfectly in line, everything is good to go, so we are good. So the next step is going to be to get the mock-up pickup, I ordered the same chrome uh, humbucker pickup, and uh, we'll probably go with a coil split, seems how it's so fat uh the body in this one section is really kind of wide so we'll do a coil split on this one so that'd be very cool so yeah so i'll do the pickup here and then the single volume knob there with the coil split 
So let me go ahead and get the pickup out and then mark out where the pickup's gonna go. See you in there. All right, got the pickup. This is a mock-up pickup. Got it marked out where I want it. Looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dismantle everything and then I'll glue the, the top layer to the center layer. And then I'll get out the scroll saw and then we'll cut out for the, the pickup cavity. Uh, but while I got them all together, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole for the pedometer through all three layers. All right, we'll see in a little bit. Actually, before we go any further, let me go ahead and set the camera up so you can see where this sits in the lap. I'll try to find a good spot <laughs> and show you where it actually sits when you're sitting or when it's in the lap. I'll try to get the camera as close as possible. Close the bar and deep for a second. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see if that works. Yeah, that worked. See, it sits like right there in between your knees. You got one knee there. <laughs> I'll ping it over and then right there. So you're good to go. Let me show you where the knees are. Yeah, right there. So it fits, fits perfectly right in the spot, right where your knees are in the bridge. So when you're sitting, and then I was thinking the input jack, this is right in between your knees. So right out there. So that'd be pretty cool. You know, when you're playing, it feels very comfortable and this fits perfectly, so yeah. All right, <laughs> let me go ahead and dismantle it and do what I told you I was gonna do earlier. I'll see you in a bit. All right, got all three layers separated. Got the bottom layer over there, the middle layer and the top layer. Got my uh, CA glue ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue the top layer to the middle layer and we'll see when we get that done. All right, perfectly glued the top two layers together and they look pretty awesome. So now what I'll do is I'll drill out a couple pilot holes where I'm going to cut out the, uh, the opening for the uh, pickup. And I'll get the scroll saw back over here and we'll cut that opening and we'll see in a little bit. Perfect installation of the pickup cavity. It looks pretty good. All right, so let me attach all three pieces again, clean up my mess, and I think we'll call it for today. I'm getting a little bit tired, so yeah, we got a lot done. It looks pretty good. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Good morning everybody, April 17th, 2022, this beautiful central Florida day. It's like in the 60s, it feels amazing. It's time to continue work a little bit on the Tails electric guitar. We crawl up progress from yesterday. We got all the way up to the pickup cavity, which looks pretty good. So now what I'll do is I'll separate and then we'll figure out the wiring. I do believe I'm going to put the input jack like in this vicinity right here. So we'll get all that going and that'll be cool one step closer to working on the body i can't wait to perfect this body and make it just amazing so all right we'll see you in a little bit all right got wiring completely drawn out pretty simple on this one just from the pickup to the pedometer to the input jack so i got my dremel tool out so let me go ahead and fix that out and get that all good and we'll be right back all right got all the wiring bits complete and it looks pretty good and i cut an opening for the back access panel plate for the pedometer and we are good to go. And the input jack. And let me make sure everything is good and perfect. And then we can glue these pieces together. All right, let's see another. All right, checked everything really good. We're ready for glue phase part two. All right, so I'm gonna glue the bottom piece and the you know top piece, and we'll see when I get that done. All right, quick update. I installed the input jack. Looks pretty good. And then I drilled an opening for the. Uh, the ground wire for the bridge all right so now what we can do is figure out the access panel plate cut me a circle or use an existing circle i already have i think i have an existing circle i might use yeah all right so i'll see you in a little bit i did find an existing circle that i had so i uh did the pencil line and now i'm going to score it with a uh, exacto blade and i'm going to get my dremel out and i'm going to countersink and install the access panel plate Let's see when i get that done all right, got the access panel paint plate counter sunk and installed, looking pretty good. All right, so now what the next step is gonna be is to get uh, take these two things off, of course, and then start working on the design. Start getting, I'm gonna get the Dremel, and I'm gonna Dremel all the bits, and then we'll do that first, and then we'll get some Bondo filler, and then touch up all the sides and make all the sides perfect, and we'll get that rolling. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Right, just a quick update. I did all the dribble bits and it's looking pretty cool. I know it's a little bit shady. I mean, I kind of made myself a little bit of shade 
but of course I'll adjust and make all these lines perfect but yeah I gotta start working on the, uh, the back where everything's gonna go but I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, bondo and fill in some side voids and wherever the voids need to be filled and I'll see you in a bit Hi, the quick update ugly phase part one's in full effect getting all the bondo and going overboard as usual but yeah just wanted to show you how it looks this will probably conclude progress today. I'm going to let this set overnight and then start working on it again. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Can't wait to get some paint on there, perfect all these lines. We get the wood green filler, the second ugly face. But yeah, looks pretty cool. And then start working on the back design. Got a few lines, but I got to figure out the tails. Where they're gonna go with the feet, you know, all the different lines on the back, and then get them dremeled. But yeah, overall, it looks pretty cool. And I like the, the squareness of it, so that's cool. Alright, hope everybody's having a good beginning of the week, and we will see you soon. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, good evening, everyone. Actually, I did a little bit more today. I worked on this section right here, concentrating mainly on this foot and this foot and got the sides and the front on the ugly face part one working let's touch up little spots here and there with the holes from the screw and uh, just a few other spots but yeah this is kind of what i'm going for for the ugly phase and then of course i'll put wood grain filler as well and i still got to touch up along the sides here in a spot or two but yeah it's looking pretty good it's gonna take my time with this one this one's gonna be kind of like you know the the one where I work on when I'm the other ones that I'm working on get a break from them and then just kind of work on this one because there's really no hurry for this one. So, all right, hope everybody had a good day. Hope you have a good night, and we will talk to you soon. But it is looking pretty killer. I right, see you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine, sunny, beautiful Central Florida day? Yeah, time to continue working on the tails electric guitar build. I just wanted to show you I did uh, finish all the uh, the sanding and filing on the uh, side bits. There's a couple places I got to touch up, but then I'll get it more perfect when I do the uh, ugly face part two. And today what the plan is, is to I mark out where I want to adjust, trim these little bits off here. I did come up with the pattern on the back and I think it turned out really cool. And I'll get the Dremel out and I'll etch all this. And I did line up all the continuity bits with the hand and everything like that. And all the different parts, little side bits with the... So I'll get that done today. Uh, do the fret work on the frets. Uh, complete fret, level crown and polish on the frets. And then uh, maybe we can do a string test today. Get the, uh, the tuners. Uh, install the string trees and put some strings on it and see how it sounds. I think it's going to be pretty uh, Pretty solid pretty resonant guitar because it's it's so girthy on this part. So but yeah, it turned out really cool So all right, let me get a little bit of that done and we'll see you in a little bit All right, another quick update. It's been about an hour or two <laughs> Ugly phase part one has been completed And I have to say I am really happy with the results and I made certain lines uh, deeper. As you can tell, <laughs> definitely looks cool. Yeah. So, and I did the continuity bits on the side where I needed to here and there on the feet. And I finished the back design and etched all that in. <laughs> and that looks pretty killer. Yeah, that is awesome. And I love the little hair bits, little fur bits. Yeah, alright, so the next step is going to be to actually do all the fret work, level, crown, and polish the frets, get the uh, the neck all squared away, and then we can uh, we can do a string tester to get all that done. Yeah, uh, my incorporated the new method of doing the string test after I do the fret work, that way there's no issues with, uh, with anything with the neck before I reinstall it back on the body, but yeah. Looks pretty cool. All right, and we will see you when we get to the next step. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, just another quick update. We're inside. The lighting is better than that super bright light outside. But yeah, I think it turned out really, really cool. 
I am really happy with the way it's coming along so far. Especially I decided to do the, uh, the, uh, just, you know, the lower bits and everything. But that's going to look cool when it's painted. It's going to be orange, white, red, and blue eyes. So it's going to look really cool. Yeah, let me show you the back. Yeah. I think it turned out killer. <laughs> And like I always say, we sound like a broken record, but yeah, once I do the wood grain filler phase, the plastic wood, and I do all the layers of that and then sand that and make it perfect, it's going to look really cool. And all the continuity bits I did, as far as the shoe bits, the top of the shoes, and the tail on the sides, but well, I think it looks really cool when you do like on the sides the stuff and then I did a few continuity bits up front on top but yeah there you go uh, like I said next step is going to be to do all the fret work got the frets up there be starting on the double neck uh, double neck strat on the Fritz guitar here pretty soon and then the Ninja Warrior number six number five and then I got more I got some more necks on the way so got plenty of wood so all right hope everybody's having a Good day, and we will see you soon. Good afternoon, everybody. Still the 19th of April, 2023. Time to continue working on the Tails electric guitar. We're going to go ahead and do the level crowning and polishing of the frets. Yeah. I didn't even check them, but I'm sure usually most necks, when you first get them, when you buy them from Amazon or eBay, you need some attention. But first thing I'll do is I'll get the, uh, the straight edge, and I'll make sure that the neck is nice and straight. Then I'll address the fret ends with my fret end file and I'll see when I get some progress done so all right got all the fret ends completely rounded and feeling great so let me show you up close all right now it's time to tape off the fret board and then mark the frets with the sharpie and I'll see you in a little bit all right got all the frets taped up and marked I got a fresh uh, 320 grit sandpaper, double styed, you know, stick them on the back for the sandpaper. The sandpaper is awesome. It's got the sticky stuff on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and put a level in all the frets and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. All right, got a perfect level on all the frets. I went through with my rocker arm and they are all a little flat and level to each other. Now I'll remark it and then I've got my two crowning files. And then I'll put a nice crown on the frets. And we'll see in a little bit. Alright, put a nice crown on all the frets. See if I can show you off the camera. All the lines are consistent all the way down. Alright, now it's time to round and polish the frets. This time around, as usual, I'll get my bits of sandpaper. Start with 800 to 1,000 to 1,200, um, 1,500, 2,000. Uh, 2,500, 3,000, 5,000, 7,000, all the way up to 10,000 grit sandpapers. And I'll go ahead and, like I always say, this is the most time-consuming part, but they are going to look brilliant. Again, to show you what they look like prior to this step. And if you want to see exactly how I do this, just research back on my Facebook page, and you'll see that, you know, when I demonstrate this I illustrated a little bit you know more uh, in depth but here I'll just go ahead and knock it out it's about 430 now Let's see how long it takes me so we'll see you in a little bit all right all right it's been a couple hours and I've already washed my hands twice scrubbed them clean from all the fret dust I just wanted to show you they turned out beautiful and brilliant as always and one thing I noticed that I've been doing lately, which is really kind of cool, I think, is the fret end angle. See how it, it almost, it uh, instead of being abrupt, because, you know, most, you, you know, you put a angled uh, edge on the frets when you do the fret ends. Um, I always make it go, I think, I don't know what percentage I go, but I always like to put it just a little bit deeper. And then what I do is, when I'm doing the, the rounding and the polishing, Let's see if I can get it really close. 
I'll actually make the fret ends almost seamless, like kind of round. You know what I mean? Like over the curve round instead of being just like a trapezoid kind of shape. I like to round it over. So when, oh yeah, that just feels so amazing when you're playing it. It's in your hand. Let me see if I can show you what I mean a little closer. Let's see how brilliant the frets turned out. Although it's a lot of work and there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears goes into this part, but it's just so worth it. A lot of people use just like a Dremel tool or they, they you know, they cheat at it. You know, they don't actually go ahead and go through. The, this process does take two hours in itself. So, I mean, it does take quite a while, but as you can see, the results are just amazing. But anyway, enough about me saying, oh, how good, great I am. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so the next step is going to be to clean it up, and then we're going to install the tuning keys after we clean up, and then we'll put on the body, and hopefully we'll get a string test done. It's not too late in the afternoon. It's still kind of bright outside. Not that that matters because we're indoors, but uh, all right, and we'll see you when we get everything cleaned up. Okay, got everything cleaned up, cleaned up all the non-essentials, and I got all the tape off the frets. Just wanted to show you the fretboard again, all cleaned up. Brilliant and beautiful. where you take pride in what you do but anyway all right so we're gonna install the tuning keys and then install the bridge on the body and we'll get the body out here but let me install the tuning keys and i'll be right back all right i got the tuning keys installed look pretty good yeah i'm glad i buy several sets because i had a problem with putting the nut on this this particular key right here and it just kept spinning spinning so it was stripped out inside that's what you get sometimes you get kind of a bad tuning key but no problem so, all right, so we'll see you in a bit. Let me get the, the body back out and install the bridge, and we'll be right back. All right, the bridge installed, looking pretty killer. All right, let me get the neck and the body put together, and we'll see you in a bit. That looks pretty cool. I'm loving that shape. <laughs> I know I say that all the time, see you in a bit. All right, got the neck attached to the body. And that is looking very cool. That is very cool. With that bright orange and the white and the red. Oh, that's going to be just amazing. <laughs> that looks so cool. And it's well balanced, too. And I so love that. I know I sound like a broken record. But I love these three 3D bits. Those are just so cool. Yeah. Where's the back? And this is another stand and leaner because it's just perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, we got lucky with this one. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let me put my two E strings on and get everything dialed in. Make sure my measurements, my the action is good to go, and we'll be right back. All right, got my two E strings on, and it is dead center perfect this time. So all the measurements were spot on, perfect. I love these necks because it's a little bit of a wider base, but yeah. Alright, so let me get the rest of the strings on there and we'll see what we got. And the action is looking pretty good too. So, alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, got all the strings installed and loving it, loving it. Feels good too and it looks good and it balances as well. Alright, we're going to install the string trees real quick. And as always, I'm going to go with my favorite string trees. So. We'll stagger in between the E and the B, and the G, and the D. So it'll look really cool. I'll get that done, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, successful installation of the strings, trees, perfect. Went very smooth. All right, let me uh, get everything up to pitch, 440, and get a good sound test. All right, so let me uh, tweak it a little bit, and we'll see in a little while. Alright, got the strings on and up to pitch, and it's playing pretty decent. I'm probably going to have to shim the neck on the front forward, put a small shim in there, because I got it to the correct uh, um, action and intonation. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, high on the saddle, so a little bit of shim on there will make that perfect. And then I'll dial it in if it shows any, because I'm going to have to dial it in in the pocket anyway with some... Uh, some bondo and make it perfect but i figured since we got everything out once let's go with the strap buttons and as usual i'm gonna go with my dunlop strap buttons the ones that are favorite and i'm guessing 
probably just right or just left of center line on the back right here and then usual place on the back of the neck plate so let me go ahead and install the strap buttons and we get that done and we'll see in a little bit i got the strap buttons installed it's pretty good yeah let's put it on a strap and see how it hangs see if i did my measurements correctly we'll see you in a sec all right one more quick update i am super tired so i'll do a full-on string test tomorrow got it all up to pitch and everything and it plays pretty good so all right, we'll continue tomorrow. Yeah, it's already about nine o'clock and at, or eight thirty, nine o'clock at night. So, whew, I'm a bit tired. I've been at it pretty much a few hours. So, we'll continue tomorrow, and uh, it's looking pretty cool. And we'll see you then. And I'll probably be starting the double neck strat on the Fritz guitar tomorrow as well. So, can't wait to see this with some paint. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning everybody it is april 29th 2023 and it's time to continue work on the tails electric guitar build yeah i've let it set for a few days and everything is holding true and perfectly and you know what i thought today is a good day to start wood grain filler phase on this guitar um, wow and you recall yesterday i was working on the double neck strat on the fritz electric guitar you know let that set up a little bit and uh and get ready to prep the next for for paint um and go pick up some of that u pool primer today and uh we're gonna go ahead and dismantle this i've got my wood grain filler and my variety of tools and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this so you can sand this and have this curing and then i can go back and forth and i want to start a couple actually and other builds i've got like four or five builds on cue that i want to get to so time to make to get it get it going so Alright, so let me uh, dismantle everything and we'll see you in a little while. Alright, got everything dismantled and we're good to go for having I mean, a fresh batch of plastic wood mixed up. So we're going to go ahead and start on the back and sides first as per usual. So we'll get that going. Probably put about four or five layers on the back and sides and then work around the front. And we'll see you in a little bit when I get some progress done. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, quick update i actually had decided to start on this top and the side seeing how this is such a cool guitar <laughs> so first few layers of wood grain filler have been applied to the top and the sides and as you can see ugly face part one is in full effect it actually it looks pretty cool all one color like that so all right so i'm gonna let this set might add a few more layers to the top and sides but it's definitely getting there wow i can't wait till some color goes on there gonna perfect it it's gonna have the blue eyes um, and then orange and white and red all kinds of cool colors so all right hope everybody's having a good weekend and i'll see you when i get some more progress done all right so a little bit all right okay quick update i finished putting some coats on the back and we'll put a couple more coats to probably conclude today's progress Pretty rainy day, so we'll let this dry overnight, and tomorrow we'll start sanding on it, make it look really cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this beautiful May 1st? Here in Central Florida, the sun is out. It's in the 60s, and we're feeling good. Time to continue progress on the tails on this guitar. All right, as you recall, I finished all the wood grain filler on the front, back, and sides. Ugly face part two is in full effect. It is ugly. But I've got my tools, my sandpaper, and we're going to make it pretty and beautiful. Alright, so let me start working on that. And I'll see you when I get some progress done. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, another quick update. Ugly face part two has been completed. Wow, it is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the hanger and then go in the light because we're a little bit shadow here so I can't really see everything really good. So let me go ahead and put it on the hanger. Yeah, that is cool. And I did all my continuity bits. But let me put it on the hanger and then I'll show you how it looks prior to some primer coats. And we're going to go with the uh, U-Pool sandable primer, the black. So we're going to put a can on there. And we'll see in a little bit and put it on the hanger. I'll see in a bit. All right, got it on the hanger. <laughs> it's a little tricky with this one. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Just wanted to show you how it looks prior to base coats of primer. It's pretty killer. All right, let me put 
put some primer on there and we'll see you when I get that done. Very cool. Ugly phase is fast. <laughs> Seems it. Alright, base coat <laughs> base coats of primer have been completed. A couple spots I need to sand. I can right off the gazelle. But uh, other than that, it turned out pretty good, I think. Yeah, once I sand this nice and smooth, it'll be perfect for the base coats. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, right here on the front, off the foot, yeah. I kind of got a little carried away, got a little bit of drip going, but I fixed it. So I can sand that smooth. But yeah, looks pretty cool. That's all one color. Primer black. That way it'll get in the crevices. And then when they when I paint it, it'll look perfect. All right, that's probably complete with progress on this guitar today. The Tails electric guitar build. Hope everybody's having a good start of the week, and we will see you soon. Good morning, everybody. Uh, time to continue work on the Tails electric guitar build. The neck is awesome, amazing, but I'm gonna paint the front of the headstock uh, orange, just like the body, and then have the white logo, and then tails, of course, in black on the frets. But let me go ahead and tape this off and then spray paint just the front of the headstock orange. We'll see when I get that done. See you in a little bit. All right, quick update. Perfect application of the orange on the headstock. Turned out really cool. All right, so I'll let this cure for a couple days. And then we'll, when it's dry and set, then uh, we'll do the tails on the fretboard in black. And then we might go with the black logo to match everything or I might go with white. I think white would probably be okay. So, all right, we'll get that done. We'll let that cure. All right, and that'll probably conclude progress on the tails for today. Just a quick uh, paint of the orange on the headstock. So, all right, and we will see you soon. All right, it is May 10th, 2023. It's time to continue work on the tails electric guitar build. As you can see, I've come up with a inlay that I like. I've taped up the fretboard. So let me go ahead and apply some paint. Fingers crossed it goes well, and we'll see in a while. All right, successful application of the inlay. Tails looks perfect. Turned out perfect. All right, so now I'm going to put in black my logo right there. Got the uh, the Cricut machine out, so let me go ahead and get that ready, and I'll see you in a little bit. Very cool. Tails. Alright, All right, perfect uh, installation of the inlay and the logo. And uh, when the weather permitting, we'll go ahead and get the 2K clear coat. Got to finish the body, texturize. But yeah, that turned out really cool. Alright, perfect. This will conclude progress on the tails of electric guitar cord today. Turned out really cool. Awesome. Yeah, when that 2K clear coat goes over there, it'll make it really brilliant. Just on the headstock though, not on the uh, inlay, because the inlay is flat to match the dots. So, alright, hope everybody's having a good center of the week, and we will see you soon. update on the tails electric guitar build all the base color paints have been completed and I just wanted to show you how cool it looks yeah that looks pretty awesome so we'll let this dry for a day or so and then we'll go ahead and do some 2k clear coat on top of it very cool and the 2K will make everything level out and everything, and it'll make it look pretty awesome. I'm really happy how that turned out. That looks really cool. All right, and we will see you soon on the tails. All right, how's everybody doing? Just a quick update on the tails electric guitar working all the shadowing and all the bits gonna try to perfect it the best I can 
getting pretty close. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> so, and I still got to work on the back, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody's having a good day, and we'll see you soon. All right, quick update on the Tails electric guitar build. 2K clear coat has been applied to the body and the headstock. Let me show you the front of the headstock first. Seems how that's the easier of the two. <laughs> See if I can get some good reflections. Oh yeah. Turned out beautifully. Locked in the logo. Tails. Alright. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Kind of lucky this morning. I did this this morning as well. And there was no wind, no bugs, nothing. So we're good. Let me set that down. And let me show you the body. All right. This is a little trickier. I don't want to bump the other guitar I got drying. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right. I did it. All right. Check that out. Wow. That looks so good. Yeah. Now I did a full can on the body. That is just so good. Reflections. A little bit of a drip going on in the back there, but I think it kind of adds to the the cool texture of this guitar anyway. So, but yeah. And I could, you know, if it bothers me that much, I can always wet sand it later. But I don't think I will. I think it looks pretty good. But yeah, just wanted to show you. Get some decent reflections. Yeah, that 2K clear coat really brings it to life. Alright, and this will include progress on this guitar too, as well for the next. Even get some better reflections on this side. That yeah, looks pretty good. Look at that. And <laughs> it's so color. Alright, and we will see you soon. Tails. Good morning, everybody. Happy uh, May 14th, 2023. Happy Mother's Day. And as you can see, it is that time. It is time to assemble. The Tails electric guitar. It's still early. It's not even, it's still dark outside. Here's all my parts, all my stuff. Dogs are taking a nap. There's a boo. And then Emma's. What are you doing in there, Emma Dog? Emma Dog. Emma. Say hi, Emma. I love this dog. And this is Brewster in there taking a nap. Anyway, so it's time to build the Tails. And as per usual, I want to show you how good the 2K clear coat turned out. In here I get really awesome reflections. Because of the, uh, the, the TV in the back and everything. Big screen. And, uh, wow, it looks pretty killer. Yep, I am happy the way this one turned out. Very cool with the 3D bits. Uh, and it's just so fun. Very cool. Alright. This one's going to sound amazing too. I got my good custom hot chrome pickup that came in. Alright, as per usual, first thing to do is to install the ground wire from the bridge into the pedometer cavity. And then we'll get that going. I just wanted to show you again how good that 2K, I love that Spray Max 2K clear coat. It really does transform the body into such a beautiful glowing, glittering, glistening. Alright, so let me go ahead and install the ground wire, and I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, got the bridge wire pulled through. Now it's time to install the bridge. So I'll install the bridge, fingers crossed to go smooth, it should, and we'll see you in a bit. Alright, installed the bridge, went pretty smooth. Yeah, these bridges, the screws are really, really strong, really thick, and I usually don't have any issues with this, this uh, brand of the bridge. So yeah, went pretty good. Alright. Next step is to figure out the pickup. 
screw some holes, get some springs, and mount the pickup. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in a bit. I had successful installation of the pickup. Looks pretty awesome. Put some wood blocks behind it uh, so it didn't connect, and then I glued the two pieces and then got the springs and the screws and the perfect heights right now and then you know just to up and down and that's a plastic cover so all right so next step is going to be to wire up the uh, input jack so let me go ahead and solder that and then pull the, the wires through to the pedometer cavity and we'll see a little bit all right got the input jack wired up ground and hot and let me feed it through the body to the pedometer cavity and then install it with the screws and i'll be right back successful installation of the input jack and I pulled the wires through so we got the hot and the neutral from the input jack got the ground from the bridge and then we got from the pickup which I'm going to use the coil split capability so let me show you how I do that but first I'm going to pre-wire the uh, push pull pot I'm using my favorite push pull pots I always use let um, me get this out of the package and I'll show you how pre-wire it I'll show you what I mean all right see you in a bit Alright, let me show you what I mean as far as pre-wiring my coil spit, split push-pull pot. You, know, you push it, and then when it's down it activates both. What I do is I go from that ground, this is the ground channel, I go to the ground to the body of the... Uh, it grounds several places, but I want to make sure that completely ground, there's no ground issues. So you go to the ground to this top post, your red and white will be connected there, and then this will go to the ground for the input jack and also um, this will go for the input the ground for the pickup and this will go for the ground for the input jack or the uh, actually hot for the input jack and the ground will actually go in the center so all right let's get that worked out and we'll see you in a bit all right got everything wired in perfectly you can go online and see how to wire it I'm gonna do the coil split so I got in the center post there ground that ground goes there and then the uh the hot from the input jack in the center the hot from the pickup on the right tong and the other one's ground so we're good to go i think we're good so we can go ahead and push the pedometer through and then install it real quick and then we'll do a sound test i'll be right back feel pretty comfortable i got the wiring right I've done it so many times but you never know but i went and go ahead and took a chance and then you know tucked the wires and installed the uh, back pedometer plate so now we can go ahead and do a sound test. So let me uh, get my amp turned on and get a hot load. And then we'll go ahead and give it a full on string or uh, tap test. We'll see in a sec. All right, we're gonna go do a uh, tap test. Make sure all the wiring is done correctly. I've got my hot lead <coughs> as always. And then we'll plug it in and plug it in and no artifact or sound which is a good thing because if you get the ground wire wrong or something sometimes it'll hum or do some crazy stuff so all right i have to readjust the pickup height i'm sure but all right so we'll go volume all the way off in the down position and we shouldn't shouldn't get uh, my all the way down okay that's weird yeah yeah duh <laughs> early in the morning okay we're all the way off right is on left is off all right we're all the way off we don't got anything okay so all the way on and it should be both the bottom coil and the top coil and you can do the scratch and you can see see how there and then i'll split the coil so we're not getting any on the oh, i can't even see what i'm doing um not getting any artifact on the bottom coil or the towards the we are getting the coil on the top so we got the uh, push pull pot pulled upward so it should just read the top coil here which will give it like a strat sound and this should be de de deactivated which it is because you're not getting anything i mean you get an artifact from the metal but then you go ahead and push it down and then you, you get both all right so successful wiring and let me turn it all the way down again and there we go let me show you all the way up both both are active split the coil shouldn't get anything here nope we get hot there so all right successful 
wiring and uh, it's easy to pull in and out the input, which is always a good thing. All right, so let me go hang it on the rack. We are complete with the body for right now. And then get the neck out and install the tuning keys and the string, excuse me, string trees. And we're rocking and rolling right along. And then I'll peel off the tape before we get ready to get the strings on there. So, but it's looking pretty cool. I'm really liking this guitar. Oh, you know, I always say that about every one that I do, but yeah, that is such a cool shape. All right, and we'll see in a little bit. One more cool thing I, I almost forgot. Um, a lot of these time, these pedometers um, give you the adjustable, but it's very, very fickle. I mean, if you bend it, you know, widen, you widen it a little bit, you stick a flathead screwdriver, and you widen it a little bit, because sometimes it'll be too loose. Ooh, that wasn't good. I don't think I scarred it. Nope, I didn't. So that won't, uh, you know, but I, I widened it pretty good. Make sure it's in the down position. And yeah, it'll be nice and snug. So it's nice and snug. Push it all the way down, which is good height. And there we go. We're good to go for the coil split. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and that pedometer rolls real easy. That's like butter. It's butter. Oh, yeah. That thing's going to go some volume swells. You can go, wow, I'll do some dime back. All right, got the neck out. Got my tuning keys and string trees I uh, cleaned up all my non-essentials anything that I don't need for the assembly and I, I decided I'm gonna go with a fresh set I'm gonna splurge go for the fresh set instead of reusing the uh, test set which is a good set that I tested with but I'm gonna go with a fresh set so all right so let me go ahead and install the tuning keys as you recall we did the 2k card coat looks pretty awesome I'm gonna do the tuning keys and the string trees and we'll see all that successful installation of the tuning keys and the string trees and it looks pretty awesome all right as per tradition and usual we'll stick my neck right there for a second and we'll get the body out and I will get these two together and see how it goes we'll see you in a little bit all right as per tradition I getting pretty uh, traditional here um, I got the body and the neck together since uh, for the first time since they've been painted and made beautified and let's get these two together. Fingers crossed everything goes smooth. I don't predict anything going array. There wasn't any paint that built up in the pocket or anything. And no paint on the back of the neck. So let me join these two together. And we'll see in a little bit. Looks pretty cool though. <laughs> Alright. Successfully joined the body to the neck. Oh, I love this part so much. It went smooth and without a hitch. It connected without any problems at all sometimes you know you never know paint can chip and it's just anything all right it looks amazing i love that wow that just i, I know that i sound like a broken record i say this every time but this is just out you know it's just far beyond my expectations but you know i always hope for the best but yeah it looks pretty cool of course, I'm going to put the strap buttons on, of course, but let me go ahead and uh, <laughs> show you. Look at the reflection. That is just so cool. The Tails guitar. Pretty sweet. Join the other Sonic guitar that I've done. So, all right, so the next step is going to be to install the E-strings. Make sure all my measurements are lined up and the neck is perfectly lined up perfect. And we'll see you in a bit. And in this step, we can go ahead and remove the cover for the pickup. Wow. Brilliant. Alright. Fingers crossed. It shouldn't... I'm guessing that it's going to be perfect because it just looks so perfect in the pocket. It looks like right dead center. Alright. And we'll see you in a little bit. Very cool. Alright, got both E strings installed and it is absolutely dead center perfect. That is cool. Borrow a phrase from the movie of my, co my Cousin Vinny that is balls on accurate. <laughs> That's cool. I guess after you do this for a while, I get fairly decent at it. Okay, so let me put the rest of the strings on there, but it's looking pretty cool. I even got the pickup pretty close to ballpark too. Height wise. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got all the strings installed, and I have to say, I, 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 I'm speechless. I, I'm really proud how this one turned out. I, 
I love that, that right there, the little bit of a lip that right there, it's not flush with the neck pocket. And uh, sometimes I get really lucky. See how the strings line right in the center of the pole pieces. I mean, you couldn't get any more center than that. That just, that just looks so amazing. Oh man, that is so cool. Look at that. Uh, stand, you know, you don't need to stand for this one either because it just kind of stands by itself. But yeah, I said, I said this before, but I love the multi tier uh, that I did on this one. That effect really turned out really cool. Wow. I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. Tell me you love it. I mean, that's just, that's just so killer. Yeah, just that concept, you know, from paper drawing to where it is today. All right, anyway, so what I'll do now, since how everything is lined up in dead center, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, strap buttons. So as you're calling, got one there, and one where? There it is, the hole right there. So let me get that done real quick, and then we're going to let the string settle, but let me get that done over here. All right, strap buttons installed. Looks pretty good. I'm loving that orange color, and I'm loving that, you know, when I brush it by hand, it gives it that fur effect, and with the little bits of shading here and there, I think it just really turned out cool. All right, so let me go uh, hang this on the hanger, or go hang it up in the other room with the other guitars, and then we're going to clean up all my non-essentials, and then we're going to go ahead and get the strings to pitch and get a sound test and stay tuned for a full photo shoot a full uh sound demonstration of how this guitar plays i'll probably do that later on this afternoon but i'll post this in the meantime but yeah look forward to that that's gonna be very cool i think it's gonna sound amazing because these pickups are good they're really hot they're really i love these pickups um i get them on ebay i'll have to share a link if anybody's interested Hit me a message and I'll, I'll share the link with that pickup. But yeah. Alright. Hope everybody's having a good Mother's Day. I'm gonna go spend some time with my mother in the meantime. So, hope everything is well with everyone. Be safe. Love each other. All that good stuff. Because, you know, this crazy world, you know, sometimes you just need to make guitars to just try to bring a little bit of joy to the world. And I hope these guitars, you watching me build these guitars, I hope you get fulfillment and joy and gives you a little bit of accomplishment when we see how it starts off as a drawing and then it ends up as a really cool instrument. You know, and it, it does that for me big time and I hope it does it for you as well. And thanks again if you've watched it this far and you've been following me for a while. But uh, I do appreciate every one of you and I love the comments. So anytime you have anything to say, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent, just let me know. Leave a message. And uh, we'll see you later on this afternoon with this one to do a full-on string test and everything. A rock out. Tell me what song you want me to rock out on and on. That is so cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just, just in awe. Just how you can talk with her. Hey Emma, Emma's out. Say hi. Brewster's over there laying there, chilling. He's a dog. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, actually I couldn't wait. <laughs> I got it. I got it tuned up and intonated perfectly. It was fairly close because we did the string test from before. But I just wanted to show you some tones. Oh man, it just it sounds and it plays. <laughs>
I imagine the things we do. I just want to be lost with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Strings are just stretching, of course, because they're new, but... The pickup sounds amazing, being just a... Uh, oh yeah, let me show you the quote split. Fun split. Ah, a little out of tune, but... Feels really comfortable, you know. No one like to have a course, but yeah. Just wanted to give you a quick, uh, <laughs> quick sound demonstration and how killer it turned out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. But yeah, we're gonna let this stretch for, I don't know, the after, you know, till the afternoon, and then I'll do a full-on sound test, do a full-on photo shoot, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, thanks all for following me on this build. It turned out very killer. Now I'll have to bring out Sonic and then Tails and then you can have them together. <laughs>
So that's very cool. Yeah. Wow. All right. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. If you're a mother, happy Mother's Day to you personally. You make sure you love on your mom if you can. Because they're the reasons that we're here. And you have to appreciate that. I owe my, you know, ever existence to my mom. And I have to make her aware of how much I care about her. So, all right. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Sunday. And, uh, I'm going to do some work on the Smurfette guitar today, maybe. But, uh, yeah. All right. And we will see you soon. Very cool. <laughs> Alright. You like my shirt by the way? <laughs> Kinda of fitting. Mom got this for me. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit.